Okay, Rodder, 5-3 victory here at Hemel Hempstead. We never like to do it easy, do we? No. Uh, obviously, for the neutral, it's a very good game of football. You know, it comes to see eight goals. Um, but, yeah, listen, the boys, we've played well today, you know. Um, if there's been something that we've, we've lacked a little bit is that clinical edge, and obviously, I think we could have had more here today, but to come away and score five goals is... Uh, it's never easy at this level, so you have to say fair play to the boys and the way the scoring went, you know, we thought we started off really well um, and then like we have done, we've got the goal and then we give away the equaliser. Um, but, you know, we, we kept going, we kept believing in that we was, a, you know, going to really come here today and put a good shift in um, after a fantastic win on Saturday. Um, so, you know, the boys have just kept going and then all of a sudden then we've gone behind and we've got then come level and then we go in front and then it's equal again. So it's been a it's been a great game for the neutral and um, one that I enjoyed myself and I thought some of the finishing today was excellent and if we had put the chances to bed that we did create over the 90 minutes, we'd have had a lot more. But, um, you know, um, I'm just pleased with the points. Just how important was it to add to Saturday's win with another win today? Massively, you know, Bank Holidays, they're, they're six points and, you know, it, it really throws the, the league table about because six points in, in basically a space of three days um, is what is what you get at the end of it and we've obviously managed to get all six so, you know, wherever that puts us, obviously I'm not looking at anything other than the next game now. Um, and we've got some very tough ones coming up, so they're all tough and, you know, this is probably one of the hardest places to come um, as well away from home. So to go and get the uh, to go and get the three points and score five goals. Obviously, we look at why we've conceded three. Um, you know, free kick and things like that. We need to eradicate them little mistakes. Um, but overall, um, yeah, I'm pleased with the result and I'm really pleased with the boys. And we moved it about today. Um, we, we brought another two or three in um, and moved the squad about. But yeah, no, fantastic. I'm really pleased with uh, the way the boys have reacted today, especially when we went behind. And kind of the motivation from Captain Church, he was also pretty influential in that win. Yeah, it was. It was. You know, um, Church is always going to give you that. That's one thing Church always does. Is he always puts a shift and he never, he never leaves anything out on the park. He's, he's a very committed footballer. Um, but yeah, you know, I thought today, to be honest, I've been very quiet. I've sat in the dugout. Um, normally, I stand up and holler and who, and um, I made a decision today that I really want to sit down and and enjoy the game, is which I what, what I did. Um, until really that I see the goals that we let them back in. Scotty Fennett's got to put the game beyond. Um, that's been our problem. We didn't put the game beyond. Uh, they go up the other end, Jay Reason and I think it was Elliot got mixed up and then they give away a free kick and then it goes in, it's 3-3 and you think, wow, up until then I was really enjoying it. Um, I had a little bit of a, a situation where I'm out the dugout now and throwing a few um, few more instructions if you like around the park but um, I settled back down again and the boys the boys went on and finished the job Johnny Giles come on done tremendous Joe Reason come on so I think you know when you look at the bench today that's definitely old try and get this win here um, I thought Johnny Giles exit I think Reese Murphy run his socks off um, and it's nice for Rob Swain to come up with a goal um, what a great finish from a big centre half as well he's attacked it he's dropped down to him and he's, he's reacted quickest which is which is what you want to do around the park you know react the quickest um, in both boxes and, and, and same again when you you know you're in the battle so um, yeah I thought overall we probably was on the front foot for most of the game I think we we definitely deserve to win the game um, and we just roll on to the next game but six points in bank holiday um, is, is, is very much needed. You mentioned on Saturday that the fact that we weren't scoring from open play was a bit of a worry we certainly addressed that today didn't we? Yeah, I don't think we had any penalties, did we? No. no. So, um, yeah. Um, yeah, no, it was great. You know, it was great. It was just, if, if my little bit of disappointment today is that why do we give them the chance to keep coming back at us? Um, that's my little bit of a, a disappointment that we've conceded some goals here today that could have been sort of preventable. Um, we never prevented them and now we've had to ask the layer to keep stepping up and get the game back into the ascendancy and try and go in front again. Um, as I just said about the substitutions, Chris Welpdale's come off and scored a great goal as well. Um, whether it was a cross come shot or whatever, it was still a great finish. And um, yeah, I think, you know, once we get the top end and we can start 
just getting that final conviction in our passes um, and getting people on them situations, I think we'd be great. But I think when you look at Reese Murphy, when he plays up there and he plays on that shoulder, he's a very difficult character to deal with. He's not big and he's not physically strong, but he's just his runs and his movement is very good. Um, and, uh, and, and yeah, I was really pleased with all of them today and, and, and Reese especially. Looking ahead to Saturday, Slough Town is another team that's come up from the league. Do you know much about them? Um, all I know is I don't know how they got on today. All I know is one of our old friends, Scotty Davis, is over there, so we know what Scotty's capable of doing on the day. Um, and I think they're one of the teams, a bit like maybe Dully Jamlet, that they've come through from last year out their division, so they're probably going to be very keen to do well this year, which is normally the situation. Um, so, yeah, we have to be a little bit mindful that they're going to come and... You know, they'd be well organised and they'd be a good side and um, we'd do as much homework on, on them as we can, or which I'm sure we've done over the last couple of games. Um, and we just want to put some of these performances in at home because I felt at home we've not probably been as fluent. We'd like the pitch a little bit shorter if we can, a little bit more zippy because I think we are trying to play that silky football. Um, if anything, we, we come off it a little bit today and then rightly so, Emble's going to have a little bit of a spell at home. Um, but as I say, going back to the Emerald one, we want to play football and we know they're going to play football. It'd be a tough game, but uh, not the Emerald one, Slough, sorry. Um, so yeah, but we'll be ready for them and um, I don't think as a manager I've ever played against Slough. So, you know, it'd be interesting to see what they're all about. Um, but uh, there's no easy games in this league. What I say to everybody every week, I don't care who we play. You could play, I think it was last weekend, East Farrah had not had a point and got a great win. It is what it is, it's very tough and that was against Slough wasn't it, it was against Slough. Um, and that's what it is, it's a tough division and I've been in this division for a long time and probably the only time I remember it being as tough as this is when I won the league back in the day at Braintree. It's been a really, really tough league and exciting league. Um, but as I say, one that people like Slough deserve to be in, in, in this league as well. So. Uh, let's, I'll be able to tell you next week how good they are, but um, all I need to worry about is how good we are. And I think if we are um, as good as we've been in, in, in spells today, then you know they'll have to come and do a job on us.